What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie298, coming at you live once again to the power of the internet, and uh, a lot of stuff I want to talk to you about today. For those of you who are unfamiliar with these videos, these is my rambling series in which I talk about myself and life and the universe and things around us. Sometimes it's about one topic, sometimes it's about a lot of different topics. Today i got a lot of different topics uh, to talk about. I want to talk about McJuggernuggets and Jesse and what it was like to work with him. I want to talk a little bit about the cool shirt that I'm wearing. I'm sure some of you are going to notice that. I want to talk a little bit uh, about sponsored videos and stuff like that. I want to talk a little bit about my health. I got some really good news about my health. Um, I want to talk about the stress and the pressure of this time of year uh, for YouTubers and for people like me. So please enjoy uh, the video. So first thing I'll talk about is the first thing I'm sure you noticed, which is I'm wearing a shirt that is not just a collared button down. I'm wearing a t-shirt, uh, and it's actually kind of like a jersey, soccer jersey kind of thing. Actually really nice. I think this is a 6X, and it came over from the guys over at Loot Crate. Uh, this is a Loot Crate shirt. If you subscribe to Loot Crate, you probably have this one. Or maybe this one was Loot Wear. Uh, they said they wanted to send me a shirt that would fit me, and that they said they were also looking into doing shirts for people of size. Potentially going up to 5X, maybe sometime in the next couple of years. So what I want you to do, if you're interested, if you're, if you're, especially if you're a Loot Crate subscriber under me, I want you to send them a tweet today. I want you to send them an email today saying, and I'll put the link down below if you want to buy or if you want to contact them or whatever. Uh, use the link down below and let them know that you're a person of size and either, you know, you really wish you had the shirts in your size because the shirts are wasted on you or that's what's keeping you from uh, subscribing. If you, you had shirts in your size, you would get Loot Wear, you would get Loot Crate, you would get some of the other crates. Let them know. Um, and also, by the way, my video for Friday should be in a Loot Crate unboxing, um, and that should include a Black Friday special, which I just learned about when I talked to Doc a few minutes ago. So uh, if you're interested, we'll talk about that then. Uh, so uh, let's see, what else? I look good in it, though. I like the shirt. I like the shirt. It's, pretty, it's a little tight around the tummy. It's nice and loose up here where I need most of my shirts to be. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Well, I'll talk a little bit about my health. I got to tell you, I'm mentally and physically wrecked today, uh, especially after working with McJuggernuggets over the past few days while he was at my house. Um, I pushed myself physically to limits that I did not know I could make it to. Because I got to tell you, you know, some people know this, a year ago, I was at a point where my wife was dragging me around the house, lifting me up, carrying me places practically. I, I could barely make it to the restroom on Sundays. But with the testosterone over this last year, getting it finally right, and with the, uh, the painkiller I've been taking since June, I've been able to build muscle. I've been able to work a little bit. Now, I'm not able to walk around the block a couple times yet or anything like that. But I am able to get around the house. I'm able to do physical exercise. I was able to, you know, drag Jesse around and push him around and do all kinds of stuff that you saw in the videos. And if you guys want to see those videos, I'll, put, I'll link that down below as well. Um, it was a lot of fun having Jesse here. It was very, very physically challenging, mentally challenging and demanding. And I will say some stuff about that dude, if you don't mind. I, some of his fans, or some, I guess some of his ex-fans, came over and they said a lot of negative stuff about choosing to work with them and stuff like that. I chose to work with him because we'd met a couple times at VidCon. We really connected when we did. He gave me the opportunity to collab with him, which means I could get some new views and new subscribers. But more importantly, I could do something I very rarely ever get to do, and that's spend a little time working with some other YouTubers. And I knew that Jesse was probably one of the hardest working people in YouTube. And I will tell you, until he was here, I did not realize how true that was. That man wakes up, starts filming, goes to bed filming. Films, wakes up in the middle of the night to film sometimes. That man is the hardest working man I have ever spent time with. And it was also super nice because I feel like, I feel like we knew each other a really long time. Like for some reason, we immediately got along. And I mean, obviously you see in the videos how we got along. Uh, so you should watch them. <laughs> uh, but I, that time is over now. And, and I think his final video uh, from his time here will go up on his channel. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you watch them. They, they were a lot of fun. Um, I never realized how dedicated this fan base is. So some of you are watching this. Hi. <laughs> okay. You'll know what I'm talking about if you see the video. Uh, let's see what else. What else do I want to talk about? Oh, my wife right now is over here in, in her little workspace working on a contract with the guys over there at Wizards of the Coast. And I don't know if I'm even supposed to talk about this yet. Uh, but the company that makes Magic the Gathering and I are in negotiations for throwing a really big tournament. 
And this is what I want to talk about when it comes to stress. Now, look, everybody's stressed this time of year, right? We're trying to save up for Christmas. We're, we're making loans to try to pay for the stuff for our kids, our family, our friends and stuff. It's a tough time of year. Um, for YouTubers, it can be particularly tough because right now our CPMs are very high. So if you're going to work hard, now is the time to work hard. Now is January and February is the time to take a break because everything bottoms out to zero, close to zero. But January, or sorry, uh, uh, December, November, those are the months you really, really want to make your best videos to put your best effort into things. Um, and so that's what we've been trying to do. Obviously, that's one of the reasons I collabed with Jesse. Uh, so, <laughs> and I, I, it's funny, a lot of people said when I, think, when I say Jesse, they think of my redneck character and not McJuggernuggets. I should, probably should call him McJuggernuggets. Anyway. Um, so here's my schedule. We just finished this collab and tomorrow we've got Thanksgiving dinner with my friends. I got a big Francis video to film tomorrow or today, but I want it to go up tomorrow. So it'll probably be today. Then, uh, right after that, we have to finish planning this magic event. Then next week I get on a plane to go to LA to go to the game awards where I am still nominated. And currently I think winning, uh, the trending gamer award. If you have not voted for me, I will put that link in the below. below. If I forget it's, it's video game. The Video Game Awards, I think, is .com or something like that. Google it, you'll find it, and you can vote for me there. Um, and I made a video all about it last week. Uh, hopefully, you can watch the video. Um, I think we may have a real chance of winning that. Even though we're up against Jacksepticeye and Lyric, I think there's a chance, because you guys have been dedicated enough to push me to the top, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, then we go to the PlayStation Experience to try some new VR games and try some new stuff and, and meet the guys at PlayStation, have a little bit of fun. And obviously I'm going to film as much of this as I can, vlog as much of it as I can, have some fun, but we also want to have some fun. And I have to have videos that will go up during the time that we're gone, so I have to film extra hard over the weekend. <laughs> you know, not that my video is that hard to do, especially now that I've seen how hard some other YouTubers work or how hard I've worked over the last couple of days. But um, then we come home, we throw the big magic event, uh, and then we have to do our giant Christmas party, uh, which we do every year. And I think we got 20 people attending that this year. And then after the Christmas party, we have to pack everything up and we have to go home. And in between that, I still need to try to upload five days a week here and three days a week on the gameplay channel and still stream five days a week, which is going to be impossible for part of this. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. I think this year will be the year that I've worked the hardest on YouTube and the hardest in my life. And because of it, I am a mental and physical wreck. Oh, it's crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy. But I got to say, uh, it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I mean, it's everything I ever wanted, right? I There was a period of time where I was on disability and unable to work at all. And laying in bed all day watching stupid pirated television shows and playing World of Warcraft because it was the cheapest return per dollar values you could get at the time. And just passing the time and doing nothing and making nothing and creating nothing and earning nothing. And I'm so glad. I'd rather have this problem uh, than any other problem in the world. I guess it's, to complain about that would make me the worst kind of asshole, I really think. I think it would make me the worst kind of asshole. So far, sorry about my complexion today. Um, got a lot of dust in my face and other garbage over the past few days. Sorry about my hair. I'm, I'm going to cut that in time for the Game Awards. Get my beard trimmed up. Uh, I do look good in the shirt, though. I do look. I do really like the shirt. That makes me really happy. Did I forget anything, honey? Did I get everything? I ain't got it. I think I got everything I wanted to talk about today. Oh, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for listening and bearing with me. Thank you for watching the videos over the past few days. Thank you, as always, for all of your tremendous amount of support. Uh, we'll stream tonight. I don't know if we will Thanksgiving night. Uh, so don't forget twitch.tv slash boogie298. Um, check out this McJugger Nuggets videos. I'm very, very proud of what we, what we did over the past few days. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if you should watch Jesse's. I don't know what Jesse's going to upload today because I want to be honest with you. He made a really stupid mistake, but we'll see. All right, guys. I love you very much. Thanks for watching. And I'll speak with you again soon. Yeah, what all about me? Am I going to talk, talk to him in this video? No, it just... Francis, leave him alone. No, I want to talk to him. I want to talk to you. You get to make a video tonight, dude. Just leave him. I want to fucking talk to him. Let me talk to him for my ass. Guys, don't listen to Boogie. He's crazy. He's crazy.